Spill. Well, as teachers across the Commonwealth converged on the Capitol, the revenue and budget bills passed the Senate and House Monday. The two-year state budget pours $3.3 billion into the pension systems and fully restores the governor's cuts to school transportation and retiree health insurance. Conroy Deluche sat in the House chamber as representatives debated and voted in time to preserve their ability to override any veto Governor Bevin might issue. That's the LEX 18 Big Story at 11. As educators chanted inside the Capitol, House members voted on the budget and revenue bills. The past bills will increase taxes on certain goods and services. The cigarette tax goes up another 50 cents a pack. Landscaping, fitness and rec centers, golf courses and pet care are among the services that will face higher taxes. Bill supporters say those tax increases will mean record high classroom spending, which is good news for teachers, along with eliminating key funding for charter schools. Kentuckians would see their income tax lowered from about 6% to 5% and the corporate tax rate would drop to 5% as well. Lawmakers say almost $200 million will go back to taxpayers, while another $700 million in new taxes will be imposed. While Republicans point to the aid for education, no House Democrats voted in favor of the bills. Those who spoke did not like the way that the bills, similar to the pension proposal, were rushed to the floor this afternoon and say they believe the budget will hurt the middle and lower classes. That generations of families and generations of communities, particularly in the East, have suffered in this Commonwealth. I believe it makes a commitment to our education that we're, we are committed. But here's the other thing that did we are fully funding all of our pension systems for the first time in years. Now, both bills head to Governor Matt Bevin's desk where he will decide whether he will sign them or veto. Covering the news in Frankfurt from the LX18 Mobile Newsroom, back to you.